Interpol is the agency amongst law enforcement with 190 member countries to share information. So they're a great conduit for making sure that all law enforcement around the world has the same information at the same time. We've seen the impact that IEDs are having across the world. So this was about making sure we're sharing information. Uh, from an AFP perspective, dealing with our military counterparts who have the best information, making sure that they know what we know and we know what they know. It's generally been seen as something that was an issue in conflict zones, but increasingly with the current threats we're receiving from the foreign fighter trends, we have to start prepare for the impact, potential impact of IEDs in a domestic setting. So hence why the AFP is very keen to get involved and understand more about it. A lot of momentum has been built over two and a half, three days and what we need to do now is take that momentum and develop some tangible uh, plans, some, a global strategy has been talked about of how to, how to combat IEDs. What do we need to do to stop the manufacture? What do we need to do to stop the importation or development of products that can be used in the manufacture? How do we stop the, uh, the proliferation of recipes for making IEDs? Those types of things are tangible outcomes that we need to talk more about.